So we're here today. I, sorry, my name. <laughs> Hi, Fred. Well, he's doing so, really well. So kind of you to come today. He's doing. Let him go. Yeah. Hi there. My name is Bruce Stout. Yeah. S T O U T. Just like the beer, which uh -huh. I understand is your favorite drink. It is. It and, is. And, I, I've been a fan of your family for years. Yes. If I only wish I came so close, I could have been a Guinness, but I'm instead I'm a Stout. Oh, well, there you go. So you can't have everything. Can't have everything. Yes. However, Bruce Stout. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's great to meet you. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us here in this sort of Disneyland of, of uh, Automania, the uh, 99th annual Vancouver International Auto Show. Have you been here before, sir? I've come here for probably the last decade or longer. Uh -huh. And uh, I think probably I actually came in here the first time in my stroller. It's a fact. <laughs> and that well, was over 70 you know, years ago. For an 11-year-old, you, you're in remarkably good shape. You know, I, I was attracted to, to Bruce because he, he's dressed as if he's a visitor from uh, a previous century. But in fact, he carries with him a lot of information about this current and perhaps the next century. So tell us about the association you're involved in and tell us why all roads lead to electric. Oh, boy. Uh, how many hours do you have? Well, so the association was started 31 years ago in 1988 and one of the reasons for the starting or founding of the association was to take custody and ownership of a 1912 Detroit Electric. The car still runs today. It can be seen at the Stave Falls Museum, which is at the end of the Dudeney Trunk Road. The reason we're standing here today in front of this Nissan Leaf is because I drove one once upon a time and I thought it was a great car. And apparently it's just been an, the winner of the Ajax Car of the Year, Green Car of the Year. Happened moments ago. And I think it's an excellent choice for a Green Car of the Year. Why? Well, because I've driven one of them. Uh, the car has a range of 240 kilometers. And when people start looking at an electric car, they want a car that drives more than 100 kilometers because 100 kilometers is only a tank of fuel. Now that we've got a car that has a 240 kilometer range, that'll meet the needs of most people driving an electric car. Tell me about the progress made uh, over the last decade, perhaps, that you've attended this event uh, in terms of this, uh, of, and I mean that not only in terms of the electric vehicles themselves, but also the, your, your association. Well, our association has changed from people that would buy a older gasoline-powered car, would remove the gasoline-powered engine from that car, put in an electric motor, and use the lead-acid batteries. We don't do that anymore, and one of the reasons we've quit one of the reasons we've quit doing that now is because it doesn't make any sense to do that because at the end of the day what you've got is a hobby you don't have an appliance so now with all the manufacturers spending billions of dollars to make appliances this is where it's at right now to seeing the fact that this year is the year of the electric car there's a wealth of opportunity for people to come down here and test drive electric cars. So they're using both the inside and the outside uh, of this beautiful convention center. Absolutely correct. Basically to educate people as to what the latest is and how similar as well as dissimilar it may be to the vehicles or appliances that they're currently driving. Absolutely fantastic way of putting it because you can come to this location today and look at all of the vehicles that are on display here and get information about those vehicles without any pressure at all of somebody trying to convince you to buy one of them. And it's a great opportunity for you to look around and see what you like. The most important thing about a car is to open the door, get inside, try out the seat, try out the controls, and even better, you get the chance to actually drive one today. You can drive one with somebody sitting next to you who isn't going to try and sell you the car. The only reason they're sitting next to you is because once you've driven that car, they want to make sure you bring it back. <laughs> this is, uh, speaking of saving time and money and energy. Absolutely. This show is, is a remarkable opportunity to do that kind of comparison shopping to find the glove, for want of a better term, that, that really fits you and your family or your personal or professional needs for automotive. One of the biggest advantages of this show is that the person that you're talking to has been trained in knowledge about these cars. So the person you're talking to is not on a commission to sell you the car, but they have detailed knowledge of the car that you're looking at. So you'll get an opportunity to talk to somebody who really knows the car well. And that's why it's worth paying the admission price to come down here, because you can do a great deal of car shopping in a very small location, and you have a very good use of your time. I know you love the leaf. 
Anything else somebody ought to keep an eye out for, whether they're shopping for electric or not? Oh my goodness, there's cars that you can test drive downstairs, so you'll find the car that fits you just beautifully. The major reason I have a soft spot for the Leaf is because I drove one for three and a half years, and at the end of three and a half years and 63,000 kilometers, the battery was still at 95% good. So the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that people have put in certain people's minds about these cars not lasting is just fear, uncertainty, and doubt it's not true. It was a great car. The only reason I changed to something else is because I wanted something with a little bit more range. And there's all sorts of those cars here today for you to try. Fairball. Thank you, Bruce. Thank Stout. you, Fred. And all the best to... Really appreciate uh, your time today. Hey, back at you. And best of luck with the association and its progress into the new century. Thank you so much.